It's just heartbreaking news, Tiffany, for the families of these two boys, hoping this is their last hope that they might glean some information about their boys' last moments after they left the inlet here last summer. But now they've learned the heartbreaking news that Apple says it cannot restore that iPhone at all. We got an email this morning from the father of Austin Stefanos, Blue Stefanos. Apple told his attorney last night the phone just can't be restored to working order. So no pictures, emails, text, or GPS information off of that um, from the boys' fateful fishing trip last summer. Stefano says he is grateful to Apple for all of its hard work, but needless to say, disappointed, He's telling us, but the fact that it can no longer function as a phone doesn't diminish its value as a cherished memory of my beloved son. It's a small piece of him, something he used to call me at night when he used to talk to, needed to talk to someone something he put his stickers on and carried with him every day, as any parent would understand. To me, it's not a broken phone, but a memory of my son that I will hold close to my heart and treasure for the rest of my life. Stefanos also adds that Apple had a team working around the clock on the phone. They dismantled it. They ran chemical tests. They did everything, but simply unable to restore it after eight months exposed to the salt water out in the ocean. I've just gotten off the phone with Guy Rubin, the attorney for Pamela Cohen. She is a, a mother of Perry Cohen, the other boy missing at sea. And uh, he will get back with me very shortly. He's talking to Pamela Cohen right now, and they will likely have their reaction very soon. Live in Jupiter, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.